Hey everybody, it's Nintendo Wii 100 here with Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. In the last video, we took on the first dungeon of the game, Tail Cave, defeated Muldorm, getting revenge on all the pain it caused us back in Link to the Past, and we also saved little Bow Wow here from the m m m moblins Oh yeah, and we got that Sirens instrument, yeah, yeah, that's probably not important. Anyway, before we start this next dungeon, as I said I was going to in the last video, there's something I actually forgot to grab in the last video, because I was kind of press for time because I didn't want these videos to get too long. So anyway, I'm just going to cut to that. Let's go, Bow Wow. Alright, so we're back out here in front of the Witch's Hut where we got the magic power in the first episode. And actually, on the way here, if you remember there was a buzz blob on the way here, Bow Wow killed it and I actually obtained um, a bomb, which, if you remember how they work in Link to the Past, basically you just drop a bomb and they blow up. What do you expect a bomb to do? But anyway, I didn't... So I guess you can obtain bombs pretty early in the game. Um, so anyway, from right here, we want to hop over this right here, now that we have the Rock's Feather. And that enemy right there, that is a guinea. They appeared in the original Legend of Zelda. I don't remember specifically if they had an appearance in Link to the Past, I and I'm not sure if they were in Zelda 2, but oh well. Head on down here, and those red enemies, those are actually called just zombies. Nothing special. Um, just push that gravestone aside like you saw right there, revealing the staircase. You want to push this block over, and yeah, it is a bit of a tricky jump, so it might take you a few tries. Just hop on over to this area, and come up here to get your fourth piece of heart if you're following this walkthrough, which means... You collected four pieces of heart! Now you have a complete heart container! Yes, making it so that we now have five heart containers, which will be very useful for the next dungeon, which I will be cutting away to right now. Unfortunately, you cannot take Bow Wow into the dungeons, which would have been a lot of fun, but anyway, starting off here in level 2 Bottle Grotto, you want to head up into this room, which is um, very dark. Let's grab the magic powder and just sprinkle it on right there, head into the next room, but of course, I probably want to switch over to my Rock's Feather first, just because um, I don't want to waste magic powder. So let's just go on and kill those guys. The green Stalfos you saw right there is just that of green Stalfos. Um, they're basically like orange Stalfos, except that they um, tend to jump towards you instead of away from you like the orange one. So anyway, let's head on into this room right here, down to the bottom. Now here we have another Mario reference. This is a Mask Mimic, um, which yes, I know these are really heavy. I don't care. I'm not trying to lift them. As you can see, it's a Shy Guy, which um, it's kind of ironic. I was just playing as a Shy Guy earlier on Mario Kart. Anyway, killing that gets you the compass, which the, has the really long explanation. Basically, the way you kill Mask Mimics is, of course, they mimic every move you make, they just mirror it, so you want to get behind him and hit him with a spin attack, because that's the only way to kill him. So anyway, let's hunt up here, and as you can see, like, returning from Link to the Past, we have the blue crystals, and as well as the switch, like, which act as the switches, basically hit him, and they um, lower that, and ha, I make the spark spaz out, and let's see what this has to say. This owl statue is trying to say something, but you can't understand because it has no beak. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. Wait a minute. Statues don't talk normally. Whatever, I'm not questioning Zelda logic. Hit this, and um, that enemy I just killed right there, that was a uh, Stalfos Knight. They're basically the equivalent of uh, Sorted Moblins, anyway. Let's grab this key, and head on over to the right, where we can go and get another key after we hop across these platforms, grab the magic of... Uh, not upgrade, not, well, not yet at least. Hit this switch, and grab this key. Awesome, the third key of the dungeon we've... There, okay, this is back in the days when Z in Zelda games, when you went into a dungeon, and you, get, you would get like a lot of keys at one time, instead of like a key, and then there's the door. Now we kill those two mask mimics, and you can, the key drops over there, and of course we cannot push these blocks out of the way, they could not make it that easy. So of course we got a backtrack, which there is going to be a decent amount of backtracking in this um, dungeon, I'm sorry to say, as much as I don't like it. Anyway, let's just go and grab this key, and instead of heading forward, well, forward, and by forward I mean to the right on this screen, we need to head at, well, to 100% this dungeon, we want to head over to the left and head back to that fir one of the first rooms we were in. Just to avoid the spark at all costs, um, go through this locked door, kill the keys if you like, which of course I'm going to because I always love killing enemies, and let's just push you back so we can get across here without getting hurt. Now let's kill you. And what do we have in here? You found a stone beak which somehow lights up the room very slightly. And it's back to normal. Great. 
Anyway, let's head on back through here. I don't think there's any purpose in lighting those torches, but there is a purpose in lighting these right here. So let's whip out our magic powder again. Sprinkle that. Head on through here. I guess um, we can kill the Stalfos again, just because they're in the way. And they don't. And anyone who gets in the way of Link deserves to die, especially now. And now all of them get to die, because I have the piece of power! <laughs> Considering I, you guys saw how I like tore apart the tail cave just because I had a piece of power. Especially because it um, helps, because it um, gives it speed boost. So, anyway, let's just head on back up here where we were earlier. So, I, let me just charge up a spin attack and kill these guys and send them flying across the room, which is always fun, which is why I love the piece of power. Anyway, I'm um, just going to avoid you guys. I do not They're not required this time. Um, let's just jump over this that and kill the keys because I can. And yes, I know this is heavy and I cannot lift it with my bare hands. I know. Wait, let's see what you got to say. Make every block design the same. A new path will open. And if you... Wait, that's in the wrong voice. Every, make every block design the same. A new path will open. First! That's better. Anyway, um, if you're wondering what the other um, owl statue we... That, blah, 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 blah. If you're wondering what the other owl statue said back that we already passed near um, where we first saw the, saw the first crystal switch, basically it just says um, to use the crystal switch, even though you probably would you were using it by that point. So it was kind of useless. Anyway, let's just push that one. And ha, we're making the spark spaz out again. Awesome. Head down in this um, pathway, and... Okay, when I look at these stalag stalactites, sorry... Am I the only one who sees the bat logo? And oh my god, did not mean to jump into the spike. Sorry, I was distracted by the like by bat, the bat symbol. <laughs> if that's what it's called. I don't, I don't, whatever. Anyway, let's head on up here. Grab this um the winged hawk. Let's forget about no 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 ah. Okay, no. Since I want to be at full health, I'm just gonna head back up here, and that respawns. Thank for wow, that's a fail. Anyway, let's just head on up through this one-way door to fight the mini-boss, which is Hynix, which, if you remember, actually was an enemy in um, Link to the Past, even though uh, it's technically stronger in this game, but um, basically he just throws bombs at you. If you get too close, he'll pick you up and grab you and throw you. Um, just be careful. Just The best way to fight him is definitely just wail on him like I did. Piece of heart or not. not be yeah, he beat him with a piece of heart. That'd be kind of fun. Um, and yes, I know this is heavy. Oh well, and I'm not going to check what that owl statue has to say yet, just because it's not very relevant right now. It'll be more relevant later in the dungeon, so yeah, we're going to have to backtrack here. Great. Anyway, this enemy right here over there to the left, that is what is known as a vacuum, which they literally suck. But let's just go on over here. You just you just want to walk away from the direction it's pulling in. Of course, at last you got the map, blah, 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 you know how a map works. So, uh... Yeah, that's what happens. They try and pull you in. You can't kill that one. You can kill them later after getting another item, and yay, full health. Just head back on up here, avoid them, and ha, the keys are getting sucked to their deaths. Kind of makes me wonder, where, where when, it, when, you get, when they get pulled into a vacuum like that, where do they go? Hmm. Wait, what do we got here? We've got 20 rupees! Joy! And as you saw, there was a magic powder refill, because there we will be needing magic powder in the next room, so let's go on in here, and more Mario references! Yay! Those are Boo Buddies, instead of just regular Boos, except they don't look like very much like they're buddies, because they're trying to kill me. Anyway, what do we get here? You found the power bracelet! At last, you can pick up pots and stones! Which means, as long as it's equipped, we don't get that stupid little message about, oh, this is so heavy, you can't lift it with your bare hands. I can lift it with this, because Link is a man, even though you need a, a bracelet to lift him up. Oh well. Time to do a little bit of backtracking. Head back to the room where Hynix was, which means we gotta pull out um, Rock's Feather again. And let's just hop on over here, go back through the warp that um, was formed after killing Hynix. And as you can see, there's a treasure chest right here. So let's just... You can't actually get this after the dungeon's done, but I just want to get it now. And what is it? 50 rupees! Very nice. Very nice indeed, and you will want to collect as many rupees as you can, because we're going to be making some big purchases um, relatively soon. Um, so let's just kill the keys, and... Oh, rupee! Yes! And, uh, uh Yeah, you, only, you, only, you get the message as long as you don't have it equipped, and I really hate that, because this that is one problem with Link's Awakening and Link's Awakening DX, is there... There's some of the m annoying messages like that. And since you, there isn't, like, an option to, like, scroll faster, like, say, I think in the Oracle games they have that. But, eh, just, I don't care if it's just one magic powder. I, I gotta get it, that being OCD whenever I play Zelda. Anyway, you want to lift the, these pots. Um, something I should mention is, like, when you lift up a pot, you don't just press the A button. As you can see, it doesn't do anything. Like, for example, if I'm standing like this, I would press it and pull it, pull to the right. And that's how that works. So anyway, 
So we want to hit this crystal switch right there, hit it again, and hit it one more time, and we can get this key right here. Now let's head on over to the left here, kill the gel, and lure down the hard hat deal so I don't have to deal with it. Die! No. Come on, you're supposed to die. That's what enemies do, you die, and this is Sparta! Excuse me, this is Koholance! Nah, Sparta sounds better, and screw you, the green stuff, else you're not getting me today. <laughs> anyway, let's just grab this, and that keys flew under the... that, and... Oh, no, no, oh, I lost a rupee. As you can see in here, we got some more enemies. Um, just That's just a regular uh, Shrouded Stalfos. Um, basically the equivalent of the pig mo just regular Moblins, not pig Moblins. We haven't seen those yet. And um, This is a Pole's voice, which in the previous games it was, could only be defeated by a sound, but in this game you have to throw pots at it. And what's this? Nothing happened, but wait a minute. When I walk in the room, there's the little jingle that means that there's a key hidden in here. So, if you remember there was that owl statue I didn't check earlier, not the one about the Crystal Switch, um, it, I said that we would be coming back to it because it, um, its tips would be more relevant now. As you can see, we got more Mario references in the fact that we've got um, piranha plants uh, right next to a Goomba. It's, uh, it's, seriously, we're jumping around killing Goombas and piranha plants. Well, piranha, plant, piranha plants are easier to kill in this game than most of the Mario games, but maybe let's just kill you. No, ah, I know this is heavy. I don't care. Let me kill the keys. Thank you. Now let's just get our power bracelet. And what do you got to say? First defeat the imprisoned pose voice, last Stelfos! Birds! Anyway, let's head back to that room. So now we know um, what order to kill those enemies in. Let's just hop on up here, kill you, get a rupee, kill you, get a rupee, kill you, get a rupee, kill you... Oh, I don't get a rupee. Dang it. Oh, come on, come on. I just want to kill you, so you're going to have to kill this one, or, well, you don't have to kill it, but it makes it a lot easier going back, and, uh, yes, and no rupee. Okay, so all the enemies on this screen gave me rupees and everything, and I still think those look like Batman. Oh, well. Anyway, let's head on down back into this room. Let's get our power bristle out, because we're going to be needing that, of course. Avoid killing the Stalfos, and you're in my way, good sir, thing, dead person. Anyway, let's just push this block. Uh, no, I don't want to get hurt. Getting hurt is bad. Yeah. Okay, push this block aside. Stop going near me, Stalfos. Kill the pole voice. Oh, I lost my piece of power. Kill the keys. Ooh, rupee. Yay, rupee. And kill you. Yes, haha. Which gives us... You've got the Nightmare's Key! Now you can open the door to the Nightmare's Lair! Moo! Moo? <laughs> yes, moo! Epic moo! Anyway, let's just kill these keys, maybe we can get some hearts out of them, because I lost a couple a couple of hearts trying not to... Yeah, I, this, that's what happens when I try not to kill enemies in um, a Zelda game. They, I just end up dying. Anyway, let's grab these, kill that pole's voice, and kill the gel. Um, of course, I guess pots count as two hits, because uh, as you saw that, um, Zul didn't have time to split, so let's head down this staircase. And... Oh, crap, the floor is falling, even though... Um, we already knew it probably should, but Link couldn't tell. But anyway, we want to grab this pot right here, because otherwise we won't be able to move this. And, ooh, he look, he's all angry, because he doesn't like pots. Because he's 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 a good platformer, and he doesn't do drugs. So anyway, let's head on up here, and even though I'd like to be at full health for the boss, oh well, I'm not going to need it. This boss isn't extremely difficult. Let's get a rock's feather and hop on over here, and let's get this next boss fight started. Too bad I don't have a piece of power like I did against Moldorm. Oh well. <laughs> I'm your bad guy this time! <laughs> and what is this? It's a giant bottle. Okay, not very impressive. And holy crap, I dream a genie! Yeah, yeah. You, you can't, can't hurt me with those that in my bottle. bottle! Yes, this is the boss of Bottle Rattle. No, I know, I, no, I want my sword. This is Genie. Um, very creative name. For, um, he's, this is a two faced fight. The first part, he's just gonna start just throwing fireballs at you. I think he throws eight or nine or so. I think they do a full hearted damage and they hurt you, and of course, you just don't want to go up and hit him yourself. And, what's this? I, I can't, can't move, but I'm, I'm still, still alright. Right. Your sword will break, break this, this bottle. bottle. So, what if we just, I don't know, throw you up against the wall? Ha! <laughs> Yes, that seems to have done something. What do you got to say now? Yeah, yeah, you, you can't, can't hurt me as long as I have my, my bottle. Ball. Okay, yeah, you just said that earlier. Now, you don't need the rock's feather to dodge the, um, the f fireballs, as I, as, I'll probably, as I can show right here. All you got to do is just walk back and forth. Just don't stop, or else he'll probably hit you. It's not that big a deal, and he's not that... It's not that... He's not... Well, he's not that difficult to dodge. Um, so anyway, let's just hit you, throw you against the wall again. 
and get prepared to dodge. And if you say it again, ah, oh, seriously, I know you blah blah blah. You can't hurt you as long as you have your bottle. Oh my gosh, what it? This is this is just the dungeon of a lot of drawn out messages. Great. Anyway, let's just dodge all the fireballs. Don't. Yeah, come on, come on. Go back in your bottle so I can hit you and then throw you against the wall. And your bottle's broken, huh? Uh, you, you, you broke, broke my, my bottle. bottle. Like you, you make me help him now. And this is the second phase of the fight. What you just want to do is he just kind of teleports around, and shoots a fireball at you. Just be careful. He kind of tells you where he's going to be going. And let's see. Yes. Okay. I think one more hit should do it. And oh, okay. Maybe one more hit. Come on. Yep. And that's it. And wow, I didn't get hit once. Awesome. Wait, and there we go, that is Genie. So let's go on here and collect our next Siren's Instrument. You've got the Conch Horn! Alright, so that wraps up that dungeon, but it does not wrap up this video, because like um, after beating Tail Cave, there's some other stuff I would like to be able to do, now that we actually have the Power Bracelet, which, let's just head out on this way, I was thinking we could head out the other way, which, whoa, no, no, no hurting me, no, Bow Wow, how could you, yeah, it kind of sucks how Bow Wow is sometimes really aggressive, other times he doesn't want to do what he's supposed to, come on, Bow Wow, get back here, eat the flower, Eat the flower! Thank you very much! Alright, anyway, let's just head on down here past the fish, very uncreative name. And what we're gonna wanna do is, I remember that, if you remember, there was some rupees that we actually obtained um, around here earlier in a cave, and there was an, also an area I showed off that you couldn't access those, that chest because you did not have a certain item, and now that we have that certain item, we can access those. So let's just go on inside here, kill you guys! Aha! Rupees, thank you very much! Let's get our power bracelet out, and pick up the skull, and we get 50 rupees! Very nice! Very nice indeed! So now what we want to do is we want to be heading back towards May Village, I believe. Actually, no, 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 wait, no, 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 no. There's something we can get in the Mysterious Forest, which will be very useful, well, kind of. Um, but let's just head on uh, down to the Mysterious Forest, even though we're already here. Hmm. Now, you can actually go in this area now that you have the power bracelet, but you still can't do anything in there. But with the power bracelet, you can lift up this rock, go down in here, and... Yay, skulls! This seems like a perfectly happy little place. Sure, there's skulls and bones everywhere, but it's got purple! It must be fine. It's like Barney the Dinosaur. Except Barney was evil. We all know that. Anyway, what's this? Navi! Or not. Hey, kid! You just woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot! Swear to me! But now... I'll get my revenge! Are you ready? Yes, Christian Bale. I'll let you carry more magic powder! <laughs> Are you ready? Sure. Whoa! Holy crap, Caesars! Oh my god, it's like the Porygon episode of Pokemon! <laughs> you deserve it! Now look at all that junk you have to carry! Ha! <laughs> Take care! See you again! In Dark Knight Rises. Ha! Anyway, now we want to head to May Village. I've, actually, no, no, there is still something. There's another thing we can get. Um, actually, well, nope, that's not the right way, and I forgot a rupee. Whoops. Of course, um, yeah, yeah, he really messed with us. We have to carry more magic powder. Oh, no. Anyway, um, now that we have the power bracelet, we can pick this up, kill you, and nah, I don't want the guardian acorn. And what do we get? We get a seashell, even though it looks kind of like it's, it's, it's kind of like a... Tilted little hat for Bow Wow, that's kind of cool. Anyway, you found a secret you sell, being the second one. Um, like I said in the previous video, there are 26 in the game, but you only need 20. After after you collect 20 of them, uh, the, all the other ones just become rupees. And Ooh, piece of power! I can work with that! Haha! So anyway, with those two things out of the way, let's head back towards May Village, and being the nice heroes that we are, we probably should return Bow Wow to Madam Meow Meow. Nah, we're gonna keep Bow Wow for a little bit, because Bow Wow's awesome, just because he's a Mario reference, aha! Anyway, we want to head towards the shop, because there's some stuff we want to buy now, that we have enough rupees. We want to pick up the shovel right here, for 200 rupees. Deluxe shovel, 200 rupees! Seems expensive, bye! Why is he a Irish? Thanks a lot, come again, and look at the Irish! 
even though he looks he looks Asian. <laughs> anyway, we want to buy some more bombs, even though we already have some. And of course, um, I'm probably just gonna, uh, now there actually is a trick to stealing. But of course, if you leave and come back after getting the shovel, you see that we have the bow, 980 rupees. Yes, yeah. Bow and arrow set, only 980 rupees. Uh, 980, only 980 rupees. Come on. No, I'm not gonna buy that, but we are gonna buy more bombs. Now, there is a trick to stealing, which is actually implemented in this game, and it looks like... Yes, I wanna buy Bow Wow! Yes, let me buy Bow Wow! And yes, I'll buy, buy those. Um, but there is a trick to stealing, and if there's an item you're gonna steal, you wanna steal that. But there is some minor consequences to stealing, which I might show later on. So, let's head on out here. And with our new shovel, um, basically, another reason I wanted to keep Bow Wow is, um, if you're unsure about where to do some of the digging and everything you can now do with your shovel, he will actually point out some of the areas where you can dig, but um, first we're going to get into this little area to get more rupees to start saving up towards the bow, because I'm going to get it legit, don't worry. I'm going to show how stealing works, but it's not going to count, because I'm going to like um, not save that part of the game. And anyway, we get 50 rupees, who cares? And Bow Wow is like, trying to eat the 50 rupees thing, ha ha. Anyway, let's just push this down and get out of here, and we're going to be heading back up in the direction of the Witch's Hut like we were earlier in the video, so I guess I could have gotten the piece of heart here, but... Uh, having five heart containers was very useful in um that uh in Bottle Grotto. At least, well, I, I, I that dungeon either gives me a lot of trouble or I breeze through it, which I would say I probably did. I I would say I did pretty well in that. So anyway, I'm going to lift this rock up here, head down into this little area, and woof, dig, woof. Yes, he will actually say that if there's an area, if there's a um secret hidden around here. So let's just grab our shovel out, and we get our third secret seashell. Awesome! Thank you, Bow Wow! Of course. Now, these seashells, they, you do not actually need Bow Wow for these. Um, he just makes it easier for you, and plus, hell, we're, we're running around with the chain shop. Heck yeah! Which is kind of gonna... It kind of makes me think. It's kind of like Mario Sticker... Well, Paper Mario Sticker Star. Cannot wait for that game to come out. Haha! -ha. So I believe they're supposed to be a that we're finally supposed to be getting a um, chain shop party member, and yes, I'm probably going to be switching back and forth a lot, because a nagging habit I have when playing this game is I always like to have the sword equipped. Now this thing right here, I'm just gonna um, do this right now. This is a warp portal. Let's let's see where it warps us. Wee teleporting powers. Aww, I was gonna, I, I was hoping they would give us powers like the, you know, remember the Trick Master from Emerald. Haha. <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, we wanna. Oh, okay, fine. Let's just, let's just, we'll work with this for. Okay, actually no. Of course, the moment I switch off my sword, I need it. So anyway, what we want to do is, um, there's actually a secret seashell we can also get here in uh, May Village. I just wanted to go grab that one that was out of the way a little bit, and whoa, we're going back and forth a lot. Anyway, so we want to head down, and there's a it's actually down in Little Diva Chomp's um, area. Woof! Dig! Woof! Anyway, let's just whip out our shovel, and dig it up, and... We got, oh, okay, we got a ruby with it too, cool. And that is our fourth secret seashell. And now we are going to go grab our fifth one, which is actually down in Tail K, which since that's a little bit out of the way, uh, let's go, I'll just cut away to that. Uh, give me guys, give me a second. Alright, back here in Tail Cave, you want to head um, into one of the little side area. well, kind of a side area. You probably, you guys probably noticed the cracked wall that was in here uh, first time we were in here in the last video. So let's just, wait, let's just kill these keys. Um, do not want the Guardian Acorn. Let's just kill the Moldorm, because I hate Moldorms of any kind, no matter what shape and size they are. And eh, let's just hop on over here, whip out our bombs, bombs, lay one right there, and blow this wall up. Boom! Yes! And what do we have in here? We have our fifth secret seashell, which, now, as a tip, once you have five secret seashells, do not get any more for a little bit, because you can get a spe you can get another secret seashell for having five, but only five. If you have six and you go to where I'm t I'm gonna where I'm met where I'm talking about, um no 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 no, I did not mean to fall. Sorry, I was I was distracting and explaining something. Just if you have, once you hit five, don't get any more for a little while. So anyway, that's probably gonna wrap it up for this video. Um just to save time off screen, I'm probably going to cut back to May Village. But anyway, in the next video, we're going to be doing a little bit more exploring and heading to the prairie, like um that weird little, I guess, telepathic message said. And yeah, so but we're, and you know, now nah, I'm going to hang on to Bow Wow. See you guys in the next episode.